Thank you for joining us in our top story. Our state's most vulnerable infants and families are not getting the help and support they need. That's the main takeaway from a new report. This was put together by our state's Legislative Finance Committee Evaluation Unit today. Our four investigates team first told you about these problems with the state's Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act a year ago. Tonight, as Brittany Costello reports, the alarm is being raised yet again. The state's Comprehensive Addiction and Recovery Act is aimed at helping infants born with drug or alcohol exposure and their families. The 2019 law requires the state to create a plan of care to get them help while keeping them together. But over the last four years, four investigates discovered those efforts have fallen way short and many young children have ultimately paid the price of their parents' addiction. Of the vast majority of these families don't appear to be getting services. And and I think like given the whole safety net of the process, that's the part that we're most concerned about. It's the main takeaway from a new program evaluation report presented to the Legislative Finance Committee Friday, saying most families are not getting support and there is no mechanism the state is using to track those families, that progress or those babies. We are hoping to dig into these care cases further and see how they were doing and how they moved through the whole care process that I just described. Uh, by reviewing a random case sample of case files, but CYFD did not, did not provide these for us. Wait, wait, let's stop right there. Yeah. Because if you give CYFD one week to respond to that case file, it's pretty hard for them to gather that, right? LFC Chair and Senator George Munoz noted a lack of time for the lack of CYFD participation, but the program is in its fourth year. The report says DOH and CYFD have not evaluated CARA since its first year, limiting information and accountability. When I received this report, I was really upset. Secretary Casados says the department needs more time and resources to fulfill those original goals. Some lawmakers redirected entirely. CYFD has been um, demonized and vilified in the media. But others vow to fix, saying it's time for accountability. My job as a representative is not to be a cheerleader for other agencies. My job is to work to protect the children um, of New Mexico and my constituents. The report made several recommendations, adding guardrails, things like prenatal plans of care, ways to monitor the progress and completion of those plans, and meaningful follow-up. Brittany Costello, KOB4. The Children, Youth, and Family Services Department will have 30 days from today to go through the presentation and the numerous recommendations. The agency is supposed to respond at the end of that period to address those recommendations, whether they agree with them, and if they will implement them. We will wait and see.